yes, I am no longer in Manila, sadly. I am doing this voiceover in sunny California. I had a 21 hour layover in Tokyo and had to transfer airports. So you know I had to go into Tokyo and do a little bit of exploring. I bought my eSIM using Airlo, which helped me connect to the internet straight away. Although I had this plan to fit so much into my itinerary, a lot of that was thwarted. Thwarted is a good word because I was stuck in a two and a half hour line in immigration, which was not fun. It is now 12.30 and I'm here four hours later than I thought. I initially had planned to go to the B Pump Bouldering Gym, which is just a few blocks away from here, which is why I picked this hotel, but of course it's closed now. The other thing I could do is go to this department store. I don't know, it's called Don Quixote, and it's open 24 hours. I wonder what kind of department store is even open 24 hours. Akihabara is a central district in Tokyo known for its electronic shops and otaku diehard anime culture. I didn't know what I was expecting at Don Quixote, but it is amazing. But I just think it's so amusing to see all of these things in one place and that's open 24 hours. So I guess if you were in a time crunch and you wanted to get all your goodies from Japan in one spot, Don Quixote is the way to go. I made it to Sensoji Temple, which is the oldest Buddhist temple in Tokyo. It was supposedly built in the year 628. I couldn't resist getting a fortune here, and luckily it was a good one. This place is just so beautiful, the garden is so serene and I just feel really lucky to have been here when the cherry blossoms are in bloom. Next on my list was Shinjuku because I had to check out the biggest art supply store in Japan, which is Sekaido. I think there's seven floors to this place and I only made it to the second floor. There was just so much to see and so little time. Just across the street, I found this gem of a sushi restaurant. This was my first sit-down meal in Tokyo and it did not disappoint. All of this was $8 Canadian, which is incredible and so, so good. My biggest regret is that I didn't get to try more delicious food, but I mean, there's only so much food a girl can eat in 21 hours and I'm glad that everything that I did eat was delicious. My phone died. I didn't know where I was going for the longest time because I went off at a different train station because that's what my GPS said. So when I got into the train station, my phone is dead. Nobody would give me a charger and the battery packs that they did have needed to be charged before you could use them. But they kept telling me to go this way, this way to go to this camera store and now I find myself at Aki Habara station. So I think I know where I am. Thank God. Lesson learned, bring a battery pack with you. We're in a different country. It's really, really scary. I'm so glad I made it to my hotel. I packed everything up again and I should be good to go. I don't know if I have the energy to take the train because it's raining, it's wet outside and the trains are so hectic and I just don't want to go through that again and be frazzled at the airport. So I'm just gonna check out of my hotel and uh, get a cab. Before 
before I end this vlog, this video, whatever this is, I thought I'd just show you some of the goodies I got. As you saw, I go to Don Quixote, which is like this giant department store full of randomness and goodness that's open 24 hours. So I did most of my shopping for souvenirs there. So I'll show you. I got these unique flavored Kit Kats. I thought they'd just make really good pasalubong or souvenirs. This tea milk. Milk tea, rather. Tea milk. This milk tea flavored one. I opened one already and it was really good. And then this peach one that I'll probably give to my sister. At the temple, I had to stop and get some of these charms to give out. And they make just really great gifts. Around the temple, there's this shop that sells hand creams. Um, with different artworks on them for every day of the year. August 11th is my mom's birthday. Yeah, I thought they were super cute and they also have lip balms and stuff like that, but the hand cream feels so luxurious and it smells like just really light and clean, if that makes sense. Uh, for myself, I got some green tea. This was like, this I got at the airport because I had a bunch of um, yen left and these are about 100 yen each and there are these mints but they're so good like some of them are minty obviously and this one tastes like candy it kind of tastes like i don't know like a vanilla custard i thought they'd make really good souvenirs or i'm just gonna eat them all myself and then for my two cousins and their girlfriends i got them these I thought they were so cute and I think they'd really like them. My mom loves to collect magnets from wherever she goes and it's really nice and easy to pick up because they're super light. So I got her this little Japan magnet, which was... Um, I also got this. This lately had a Labo lotion. It's not really a lotion. It's more like of a serum with AHA, which is hyaluronic acid. Basically, it helps to retain moisture onto your skin. And it really helps with then applying skincare over top. And I've been using retinoids lately, which has been drying out my skin like crazy. So this has been a godsend. And I bought a bunch of bottles when I was in Manila because that's where I was introduced, first introduced to it. And they have these refillable baggies in Japan. So that's what I got for Nate and I. I don't know what these are. I think they're gummy candies. My younger cousin, Jerome, introduced me to Chainsaw Man, and it's right now my favorite anime. It's really good. I really like it. If you haven't seen it yet, you're into it. anime, watch it. It's kind of weird, but... The storytelling is so good. The characters are just so well written. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you again next week. Bye!